my dad actually, I remember, you know, a couple of years ago, he, he texted me and he said that uh, Todd's company had just got the rights to this movie called Arms and the Dudes. He sent me the Rolling Stone article. He said, you have to get in that movie. He's like, you got to tell Todd you're the man for that. And so I did. Basically, every time I'd see Todd out for about the past three or four years, I'd say, what's up with Arms and the Dudes, man? You know, what's going on with that? And uh, yeah, so that's how I initially heard about it. It was such a gray area for a long time, and these guys, you know, exposed it. And I think afterwards, you know, the government kind of had to go back through and, and realize some of these, you know, loopholes and some of the, you know, the off, you know, the, some of the wording maybe that wasn't as precise. So I, you know, I respect these guys for, for um, yeah, I mean, at one point they had a $300 million bid. That's an insane amount of money for a couple of guys in their 20s who were kind of just faking it till they made it. But yeah, he, uh, he goes from kind of living in a small, crappy apartment in Miami to like a really lavish condo and me and Ephraim are driving matching Porsches and we're, you know, we have the money finally and it's cool. Like that's the part of the movie I think that should be the most fun for people because you're like, rooting for and you enjoy seeing these guys kind of live in the life of, of, you know, gangsters, even though they're just these couple of like small town Jewish kids living in Miami who are just kids. Anna's great, man. She plays Iz, she plays my girl, she plays the mother of my child. And she's great. I really think that she's going to kind of be like the discovery from this whole thing because she just kind of lights up on camera and, and she's a very good actress. It's been the most travel I've, I've ever done for a movie. You know, we started in Romania and then we went to Las Vegas, California, Miami. We're going to Morocco. We shot in El Centro which was pretty rough. Um, but yeah, I, th I think it's going to give it a nice, the movie's going to feel big, and especially for a film that's dealing with international arms dealings, I think it's, it's appropriate. Did you know that The Hateful Eight with three words is the longest title for a film directed by Quentin Tarantino? All the titles of his previous films only consisted of two words. For example, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, Inglorious Bastards, Django Unchained, or Kill Bill. What's your favorite movie directed by Tarantino? Let me know in the comments below and click here for more cool videos. Thanks for watching. See ya!